kings, queens, nerds, and geeks, Powder Milk here, and welcome back to Doctor Who, Doctor Who the Adventure Games. Now, guys, we, we, in our last episode, we defeat the episode City of the Daleks. Now we're going to do episode two, Blood of the Cybermen. Which, guys, if you guys don't know, Cybermen, those who don't watch Doctor Who, Cybermen are actually uh, humans who have been turned into these robots, and they are upgraded, as they call it themselves. And then there's, um, so, so, oh, by the way, the last one is probably the darkest one there is, and it's one of my favorite enemies, one of my favorite enemies all of Doctor Who. This one, though, I never understood what it was, I nor that I remember what it was, but it was something that was inside the TARDIS. Well, anyway, let's play Blood of the Cybermen. Oh, I remember where I was went. They were in the Arctic. And something was happening. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah, I still have KFC over here. Waiting. They were waiting. Professor? There's something here. Be careful, Chisholm. Whatever that is, it's been buried in this ice for millennia. I can't go back there! Oh yeah, so you guys know my light is from my phone. <laughs> no! No! Oh my god! No! Always desperate to make videos. No copy right, no copy right, no copy right. Oh my god. I was wondering, I, I understand this is supposed to be the time vortex or whatever, but I never understood what exactly it is. Blood of the Zyberman by Phil Ford. The thing is, though, the, the voice actors of this game... Were he could never the, get his fingers around G-sharp. You're actually telling me you taught Elvis to play guitar? Not very well, obviously. How long's that been flashing? Search me, what is it? Someone's sending an SOS. To the TARDIS? I doubt it, to anyone that's passing. Generally, people aren't choosy who answers when they send a distress signal. Here we go. Where are we? The Arctic Circle somewhere. And the TARDIS will keep you warm, at least for a while. Now, that signal wasn't too strong. Couldn't lock on all that accurately. It's an earthquake. I mean, an ice quake. Just a little glacial movement. Huh, yeah, just a little glacial movement for you and your hobnail boots. We're wearing heels here. From the look of these, I'd say we're on some sort of floating ice plateau. Where are you going? <sighs> Just a quick look around. Didn't you listen to anything I just said? No. Which is typical of the doctor. Well, that gives me the instructions all over again because, like, I don't already know how to play now. So, oh, yes, I get it. Now, yeah. I, I know. <coughs> oh, this is the Centaurans. I love those potatoes. Up some items that can be used for the other. What do I have? Okay, stat X. Can't use that here. So that's where the writer ended up. I need to get to him before he dies. Amy, you stay here. I'll see if I can reach the skidoo rider down there. 
Please don't fall to your death. I don't fancy living in an igloo. Not without central heating. Oh, Amy. I didn't know you cared. Oh, yeah, Amy's a bit. Who knows what, who knows what she's trying to Knows what she's all about. That's what I love Amy Palm because she's very honest. Yes. Oh, look. Lime. It's a jelly baby. <laughs> Amy, can you tie this rope to something, please? We need to find a way to winch this fellow up. Sure. What changes characters for you? I'll tie the rope to the skidoo's winch, Doctor. Let me know when to start the motor. Heat up with a sonic screwdriver. Where is my character going? Oh, great. Oh, no. My character's stuck. Some warmth into you. Where am I? You fell. Looks like your ankle is sprained. But I'll soon get you out of here, don't worry. soon have you sorted out. All right, Amy, start the motor. That's the way. Brilliant. Doctor! Amy! Are you all right? I'm okay, but you look kind of stuck. Don't think so. The skidoo did the trick after all. There's another way out of here! You'd better get a move on. These shoes really aren't much good on ice, especially when it's shaking. Um, come on. Don't mean to worry you, but the whole plateau could be about to collapse. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to climb anything. Don't worry, I'll make a route that's easier for you.
go. Oops. Oops, I didn't know there were loops, but I could I could jump those. Slow, man. Heat of the air right around the base. behind me as well. Soon get you back to your base. Where is it? Not there. No, no. I can't go back there. No. Why? What's wrong? Waiting. They were waiting. He's delirious. No, Amy. He's terrified. Well not going to tell us where he came from now. So we're going to have to find it ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Whatever has happened there, someone sent an SOS. So there are people there who need our help. Good thing I salvaged the sat-nav from the skidoo. That should help point us in the right direction. Hmm. It looks a bit smashed up to me. I repaired the great Klaxion generators of Thrad. I got the ionic flux engines of the Dragodorf Imperial flagship running with an old chewing gum wrapper and a mouse trap. I think I can fix a sat-nav. If I hook this up to the TARDIS, I can rewire it in no time. You can imagine the feet that the Doctor has pulled just by himself. Connect the sat-nav to the TARDIS. Okay, this is new. Oh, it's not actually new at all. It's actually this previous puzzle from before. So, let's see if we can plan things out. Excuse me, guys. Uh, keep uh, burping for some other reason. Okay, that one's good. Bingo! Now we have the coordinates. Right. Now we find out what got our friend Chisholm so terrified. Yeah, like that's a good idea. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't even remember the entirety of the game. Doctor, did you ever see the thing? The carpenter cut Russell thing or the Howard Hawks thingy with the walking carrot. Not sure I see your point, anyway. You brought me back. They'll get us all. I give you my word, I'll protect you. Whatever happened here, I can help, I promise. How? They got everybody. They changed them. Into what? Like robots. Slaves. Cyber slaves. Cyber slaves. Ah, oh, Cybermite. Amy, get out of the way! What was that? A cyber mat. It's not anything like a mouse mat. 
It didn't look like one. Weird. I've seen them kill people before, but never turn people into robots. That's new. That's fascinating. Why would they do that? Let me take a look. No! Get away! Get away from me! And get out of here. You have to let me help you. It's too late for me now. What's going on here? I think the answer to that is in there. Yeah, of course. It would be. Now, let's see. Let's talk to this guy, see if we can anyway. Hello? Chisholm, are you in there? Go away. You can't help me now. Best thing you can do is save yourselves. I promise we will find a way to help you. Are you alright? Something is happening to me. The feeling is gone in my right arm. Mr. Chisholm? Yes? Who's in charge here? Could there be other survivors? Elizabeth Meadows is the senior scientist. Maybe she's not infected. She's pretty resourceful. If anyone has survived, it's her. Thanks. We'll find her. Don't worry. We'll fix this. Okay, it just says that, so I can't use that. I think it has something to do with the silo room or something. Ooh, a card. Ooh, it's the fourth doctor. I love that. Nice. This obviously, which obviously you can. I don't know why I can't. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Oh, we got a Rose Tyler. Nice. Everyone loves Rose Tyler. Bad, the bad wolf. Key card lock, no key card, maybe you should knock. Knock knock. Oh hello. And who are you then? Die. Conversation not your strong point, is it? Amy, I'll keep his attention while you think of a way to overpower Me? him. I thought that was your job. I thought you liked to be independent. Now if you could think of something fast. I know how exactly to do it. Die. Must eliminate. Must eliminate. Ha! Take that. Well done, Amy. Let's see if we can learn a bit more about this fellow. This key card says it belongs to Alan Watt. I imagine that's who he used to be. Used to be? The Cyberman nanoforms have done their work. Nothing really left of Alan here. Poor chap. Oh, the TARDIS. Watch out, Amy. There's another cyber slave around the corner. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Until we know exactly what's going on, 
we need to watch our step. little fella. Shoo. Look, a tin can on legs. Meet my can opener. It did not like that. The sonic signal gives them a cyber migraine. The sonic's frequency keeps them at bay. We might be able to rig something at another frequency to stun or deactivate them. That would be good. Those things are worse than spiders. Spiders? I'd rather we change the subject. Let's see if we can get some information out of this system. Do you even know the radiologist? GSL. Looks like this some multitask scientific project will probably bring the perfect bunch. <coughs> yeah, research Matthews. Okay, fine, we'll lose Matthews, as Christian says, she is in charge here. Another daughter, <coughs> Daisy Meadows, poor girl. It's her birthday tomorrow, 5th of May. Huh. And 0505, I wonder. That's something I gotta keep track of. get many visitors up here, do you? I thought you were one of them. Who are you? This is Amy and I'm the doctor. We answered your distress beacon. Thank God. My name's Elizabeth Meadows. I've been barricaded in here for days. It's all right. You the doctor the will be open. able to help. What happened to your arm? I fell and hurt it running away from those things. They're everywhere. You mean the cyber mats? They bite. Inject a nanovirus that converts flesh and bone into living machinery. Cyber slaves? But slaves to who? To the Cybermen, of course. Where did you find this? We're a geological survey. It must have been under the ice for 10,000 years. Amazing. So who are the Cybermen? Cybernetic bodies with living brains. Brains surgically removed from those they conquer. Stripped of everything but the urge to kill. And convert more like themselves. And they've been under the ice 10,000 years. Apparently. And the Cybermats have been converting a small army of slaves to dig them out. Is that right, Professor? Yes. I've been trying to develop an antidote. Something that will reverse the nanovirus. Make my team human again. You're very good. But it won't work. We need a sample of the virus in its pure form. You stay here, Professor, and do what you can. Amy, we're going to catch ourselves a Cyberman. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Stupid earphones. Let's look, take a look around. Fact, well, fact, uh, nanotechnology, the use of atom molecular tools in medicine and electronic requires nanotechnology. And then, 
country of one billion or or metri. Um, a water mo a mo molecule is less than one metri wide, and you can use special microscope, to, like an atomic force microscope, to see the object that they are that, that tiny. Security locked on this lift. There's a fact on this one. The Cybermen. Cybermen are impressive metal giant giants with the strength of ten men. When humans encounter them, they are usually under two conditions. They are converted or deleted. The Cybermen are originally humans from Earth's twin planet uh, Modas or Modassian. Uh, they began to implant artificial parts of their bo bodies and help them live longer. Cybermats are small cyber creatures that the Cybermen have used to attack as attack weapons. If you see a Cybermat at lookout, they're likely to be a Cyberman just around the corner. Yeah, most likely. Tell me about it, GSO. Can you tell me about the base? Survey readings showed up irregular results under the ice. We came to investigate them. Irregular? How? A geophysics scan showed shapes that looked like large man-made structures. We thought it was an indication of pre-ice age settlement. But it wasn't human. No. Technically, it's, it's technically human. Tell me about the cyber slaves. Saving my team is all that's important right now. Which is why it's a good thing that I'm here. Hmm. What was this? A raspberry. Wait, so this is locked. I need it to... Can you hear that? The Cybermats are in the air ducting system. It surfaces the whole base, so they'll be everywhere. Sneaky devils, aren't they? Can we get them through here? Too dangerous. If I open this hatch, whoosh! You fancy getting covered in cybermats. Best to get them from above. You're going through the vent system. Am I wearing a Bruce Willis vest? Besides, I won't fit. There's another vent hatch up there. If I distract them from down here, you might be able to open it. Me? Sorry. I'm not really ventilation duct size. I can distract them for you with the sonic screwdriver. Hmm, it's a plan, I suppose. But first, we need to find a weapon of some kind to use on them. Hmm. This door's open now. Which is scary, to say the least. Ooh, the eighth doctor, the one who before the war. The Arctic Circle, I'm not gonna read that one because it's gonna take too long, so we'll just leave it on for a few seconds so you guys can read it. Do, 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 do. Okay. If you're gonna read it, you can pause it. There's a handheld distress beacon here. That'll do nicely. I thought you were more into answering SOS calls, not making them. This is just what we need to deal with the Cybermats. Clarification request. If I can get it to emit the same frequency pulse as the sonic screwdriver, but stronger, it will work like an EMP device and disable them all. Sounds like a plan to me. 
All right. Excellent. I've set up the beacon to emit an amplified sonic burst. So set it off and all the cybermats in the station go bang. I'm afraid it's not quite that simple. To make sure we take out as many cybermats as possible, we have to drop it right into their nest. So back to the nest then? Amy, you're a star. And even brighter than Alpha Seti Beta 6. I like how we just called her brighter than the star. But here's this though, she doesn't know what that is, so does that mean, that, that can mean more than one thing, to be honest. Take the beacon, climb up there, and while I keep the cyber mats occupied with the sonic, see if you can open the vent up there. Okay, I think I can manage that. Ah, uh, and um, try to avoid any cyber mats while you're up there. Thanks! Doctor of the flaming obvious now, are you? I mean it, they're dangerous. You know what they can do. Doctor, I see the nest. I'm setting off the beacon. Amy? It's all right, I'm fine. Then again, maybe not. What do you want a job doing? Changing a plug, sorting out a cyber sleuth? I don't know why I was ever worried about you. Yeah, cyber biology. Normal bullets cannot harm cybermen. But if they are they're vulnerable to attack from electromagnetic weaponry or Dalek firepower. Although they're sturdier than humans, cybermen do have some physical weaknesses. For instance, some early cybermen encountered by the doctor had a fatal aversion bite to gold. Uh, early forms of Simon created by John Lumick were uh, able to deliver deadly electrical charges through their hands. It, it was an ability they em, uh, employed to, sh to shocking effect. So the radio. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a radio. Okay, let's look around.
it's gonna be something I can use. As I told you, we came to investigate the irregular readings under the ice. Okay, it doesn't help. Let's have a look around. Oh, right here. What am I doing? Perfect. A nano synthesizer, just what Professor Meadows needs. She can get a sample of the cyber virus from this. Come on. All right, here we go. Port Cecil to TSO Zebra Bay. Port Cecil to TSO Zebra Bay. Do you read me? Confirming supply delivery. What? They can't, they can't come here. We have to stop them. Fort Cecil, this is GSO Zebra Bay. Stay away. Do you hear me? Stay away. Do you read us? It's not working. The capacitor's blown. <sighs> like that means anything to me. Look, this is it. I have to get back to Professor Meadows. Find another capacitor, Amy. Get the radio working again and warn Fort Cecil. And now I'm a radio engineer. Great. What's character doing? Give you a waiter. It's locked. Buddy. The Cyberman card. <laughs> oh, nice. I just realized I got that. Holy shit. So I need to find a way to get a capacitor, huh? something come on I don't think I can get this guess the code so here. No. Wait. And this is destroyed now. Okay. Okay, let's keep looking around. Anything else interesting? I don't know what sound lights are there. Yeah, we're still looking. Thing. Every nook and 
Open or anything. So, in order to get into the locker, there's gonna be something around that I can look at. I'm gonna ask the doctor for some help. Did you fix the radio? No, but... Then you really need to let me concentrate on this. But I haven't got a clue where to find this radio part. Maybe Chisholm can help you. Then I hope he's still human. I'll go and see. Maybe he can help. All right. Okay, I didn't think about Chisholm. I forgot about Chisholm at least. Hello, Mr. Chisholm. Are you there? Why are you still here? I need to ask you a question. Do you know where I can find a capacitor for the radio? It's broken and we need to warn Fort Cecil. There's a spare one in my locker. The code is 3245. Thank you. Yay. I forgot that guy existed. Like, I really did. Like, what time is it? Oh, I get paid in two hours. Yeah. Okay, let's put in the capacitor. Where was this supposed to go? Ah, I see it. There. Now, let's see if we have a connection. Um, uh, the GSO to Fort Cecil. Hello? Roger and all that. GSO Zebra Bay, this is Fort Cecil leading you. Are you confirming the delivery? No, we have a, a, a situation here. We need you to hold off on that delivery. Don't come anywhere near here until we give you the green light. Is that clear? Why? What, what is happening? Um... Polar flu. Really, really bad outbreak. We need to be quarantined just to be safe. Roger that. Let us know if we can help. Thanks. GSO out. Over and out. They really say that? Now, where did the doctor get to? Professor Meadows? Elizabeth? When I said stay here, I meant stay here. Why don't people do what I tell them? Well, let's see what I can do about this serum. Let's see. Let's see if this microscope works. Okay, test the microscope. synthesize the serum so okay more blue than orange uh, as many okay This is very confusing. That works somehow. Ah, 
Amy, look. One synthesized nano serum. Who's a clever boy then? Yeah? Well, I fixed the radio and warned Fort Cecil. You're not the only brain box around here. We managed it. Brilliant. We can't allow anyone to get near this base. Cybermats are bad enough, but those Cybermen under the ice are something else entirely. We need to find out how close the Cyber Slaves are to releasing the Cybermen and hope there's still time to stop them. All right. Where's Meadows? I don't know. When I got back, she'd gone. I don't like that at all. We should get the serum to Chisholm. You're right. First things first. Take a cure to Chisholm. <coughs> Excuse me. I've developed a serum. It will reverse the nanovirus. Please, come down and take it. Are you sure it'll work? I've seen what happened to the others. I don't want to end up like that. I'd rather be dead. I can't be sure how long it will take to work, but believe me, you're going to be all right. Did you find Meadows? Yes, but now she's disappeared. Had she been infected? Apart from an injured arm, she seemed fine. But now I can't find her on the base. Any idea where she could have gone? Only the excavation. But that's where the cyber slaves are digging, isn't it? She's got to be mad. This whole project is hers. This is her team. She would do anything to save them. How do we get to the excavation? There's a lift in the lab. Yes, I saw that. But the door had a heavy security lock. I'll get us past that. It's a closed environment. There's a retinal scanner to log who goes down there. <laughs> Oh, 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 I don't think you're going any further. Let the serum do its job. I can handle things from here. Yep. Going down for household appliances and homicidal cybermen. <laughs> yep, you are so funny. Yeah, I relate to Amy Pond more than anything. Maybe it's a ginger thing, I don't know. Oh, you're awake? The blood of the Cyberman. Ah, my ankle. Careful. This place is crawling with cyber slaves. Looks like a network of tunnels. Why dig all those? Standard procedure in digs. You dig a cross pattern of trenches, or in this case, tunnels, until you find what you're looking for. And they found it. They weren't looking for what they found. If only they had never started to look. Amy? Oh, there you are. All these cyber slaves look like they're patrolling, but I think we can slip past. I swear to God, every time you do something stupid, I get angry. Oh my God, Amy, stop being stupid. I think we're okay. Where's Rory? That's my biggest question. You're married to Rory. Where is Rory? Better be cautious here.
So let's return around. Let's just turn around point. We need to be careful. Well shit, Sherlock. Sure. Stupid. I think we're okay. We better be cautious here. It's just been waiting here for someone to dig it out. The Cybermen will be in suspended animation, but the ship will have been sentient since it crashed, listening for signs of life on the surface. When it heard the GSO excavating, it sent out the Cybermats. Kind of stuff, really. And deadly. Once the Cybermen are awake, they'll complete their mission. Cyber conversion of every human being on Earth. Amy, come stand on here. I'll start the lift. What about you? Well, there must be another lift up there that you can activate for me. Why are we even trying to get up there? I need to get to the control room of that ship. I need to find out how close they are to waking the Cybermen. And I have to stop them. Just one animated Cyberman. That's all it could take to start converting the whole human race. Okay, let's do it. Master. Oh, is that a card? <laughs> Blueberry jelly belly. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Doesn't work, huh? What about this one? Press the button. I'll take this lift next, Doctor. It's more about Amy, can you give me a hand? Sure. Honestly, though, if you honestly if you regenerate and you cut off your hand, you give yourself a hand. Doctor, no, help no. me, Amy. Leave her alone. Don't you dare hurt her, Amy. Think, think, think. Where are they taking her? It must be to the control room up there. I don't have much time. Hmm. 
Why is it this complicated? Why are you doing it so slow? See what's over here. Let's see what's over here. Can't go that way without Amy. Okay, wait. Is there something over here? Nope. Just a double check. Okay. Really? A bit of more. Another broken. Another broken panel. Time to Sonic it. The Sonic! Don't dish the Sonic! Come on. Just don't be stupid. <laughs> Cold! Oh my goodness, your shadow looks weird. <laughs> shadow? <laughs> no, when you were facing forward, it kind of looked like a mixture of Voldemort and the gorillas. Oh my god. <laughs> I killed Harry Potter. Professor Meadows, I was afraid the Cybermats had got you. <sighs> ah. I see. I don't think so, Doctor. You must spend hours in front of the mirror in the morning. Humor is a redundant application of intellect. I don't know. I find it comes in quite handy in a tight spot. So you were a cyber slave from the start. And you answered the distress call I directed at your TARDIS. What do you want with me? And what have you done with my friend Amy? That's a cyber conversion chamber. Don't you dare touch her. Then comply with my demand. Which is? This ship was caught in a temporal storm and crashed. The cryo systems are too badly damaged for us to repair, to reanimate my cyber brethren. But you, Doctor, you have the genius of a Time Lord. You want me to wake a Cyberman invasion of Earth? You're mad. It is your choice, Doctor. Wake them, or your companion becomes the first of a new line of Cybermen. All right, I'll, yeah, all right, I'll do it. Reprogram the nanobots. Reload colors of the green buns. Okay. So I gotta figure out how to do this. So, the create more orange than green, and as many purple as blue. So... Try it. Oh, the red means I can't use it. Oh, God. So if I just make them more orange, it actually works out right. So I just gotta...
Lord, I have reactivated you. Your protocol has been successful. Now you will be deleted. But I gave you life. No, you don't have to kill her. Cybermen do not require cyber slaves. Cybermen are superior to all. Narrow escape. Oh, excuse me. Oh, they're stupid. Doctor! Doctor, get me out of here! Please! I'm here. I'll get you free straight away. Please, get me out of... Here, before you... Press Press any, please get me out, please get me out of here before you press any buttons. Get these cuffs off me. You must be able to open this. Them somehow. Screwdriver? There you go, it works now. Doctor, but what kept you? That doesn't do anything to me. Yes, that did the trick. Let's get out of here. They're almost through the door. First, I need to get back to the control room. Back to the control room? Why? Because I need to stop the Cybermen. How? Not quite sure yet. Come on. We need to be careful. You will be deleted. Test his range. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. So he stays there for about four seconds, and then he turns around. Wait 
going to turn around. Good. Amy, you better follow. I should be very pissed. We should be safe I now. See a shadow of a leg. My leg? <laughs> Dangerous. There must be Cybermen all over the place. Yes, but this is the only place we can stop them. Where are they going? Fort Cecil, the only people for a hundred miles. They'll convert them and move on. Including you, Doctor. You will be deleted. <laughs> Delete this. <laughs> Feeling better, Mr. Chisholm? I am now. <laughs> But what about Fort Cecil? How do we stop the Cybermen? We turn their own bodies against them. And you know exactly how to do that? Of course. I can reprogram the nanoforms in the Cybermen's body chemistry to attack them. At least, I hope I can. And here we go again. We're going to be starting this again. Okay, send the Zimmerman back to the site prior sleep. So there's two. So we need more green than orange and more purple than blue. So if we get green and blue, Got it. Simon have successfully sent back to the prior sleep. I should do the trick. And we should have about half an hour to get out of here before it blows. Two minutes to critical mass. And there was me looking forward to a leisurely stroll. Sorry about that. Maybe we should run. Why don't you pause and look at each other? That's my biggest question. Even know what a plan is. That'll be the Fort Cecil plane. Not a bad day's work then. The nanovirus will have reversed with the destruction of the ship. They'll be good as new. There's going to be a lot of questions. Most of them asked by someone from Unit, I dare say. Just mention my name and you'll be okay. You never said. What is it? The Doctor. Just the Doctor. Okay then. They just frozen like that for the rest of the for the rest of time. Like what? So yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Doctor Who. 
who the adventure game. So anyway guys, I hope to catch you guys later, and stay nerdy my friends. Bye bye.